for, so, for the rest of the It's time. always exciting to hear from them. Why don't you introduce to the stage? Yeah, Adam Goods and Michael O'Loughlin. The founders of Go. Thanks, Maddie. Thanks, Adam. Doing a great job there, Maddie. Good work. Spence, you're okay as well. <laughs> I too would like to take this moment to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land in which we meet and pay our respects to their elders past and present. This is a very different uh, event that we're usually having and, you know, I'm loving the fact that we're able to still have an event and, you know, credit to Shirley and the team, um, the students that have uh, made themselves available today and the people online, thank you for tuning in and, and getting an update from us and, and contributing to some incredible um, footballs that we have here that will, you know, the money that make, we make off them will go a long way, as you know, we always make that dollar um, go the, a long way. I just want to start today by just throwing a few numbers at you and, and hopefully by the end of my little, um, you know, go catch up today, um, these numbers might, um, you know, tell you a little bit about the vision of, of Michael and I going forward. Um, across the country right now, from kindergarten to year 12, Indigenous students in Australia are about 213,000. In public schools, which is about 85% of that, there's 181,000 students. Independent and Catholic schools, they're, they're roughly about 15% of those numbers and they're about at 32,000. And students in lower SES brackets, they represent about 60 to 80,000 across the country. So it has been a challenging year, not only for um, us here at Go, but for everyone. And what I've seen in the last six months has been something truly inspirational. And from a foundation point of view, to actually have grown our scholarship base in that period of time has just been a, a really great success from us because we know that people are out there struggling, especially students and those students who've who are GO students, but also the new students that we've um, acquired in the last six months. Like Linda and Shirley said, we're up to 517 scholarships, 26 alumni, that's my favourite number, 26 alumni, and that's growing obviously every year. I'm really excited about the alumni and we're seeing the alumni come through and pay back um, you know, with their roles today. And Natalie, thank you so much for that acknowledgement to country. I know how nervous you were in getting up here and you know, your sister Brittany's been up on stage many a times and you held your own and you know, to, to see Natalie journey in the last three years and what you've overcome in that time and always have, have put your hand up when you haven't been going well. Um, it's been a truly blessing for us and we're so proud of you and we're excited about what you're doing at university and how you want to give back to people going forward when you finish that degree. So well done, Nat. Um, Shirley did say that we celebrated our 500th scholar this year and I, I wanted to make a point of young Kobe who we awarded that scholarship to. Um, young Kobe and Michael and I both sit on the scholarship committee and young Kobe's application was incredible. He had his older brother behind the camera recording him. He was sitting down on the edge of his bed in a bedroom. He's sharing with his older brother. And just like my house growing up, there's no door on the door. There was a blanket. And he had two younger brothers that kept popping their heads in. And he was trying to get his application out and talk and answer the questions that we asked him to answer. And the older brother, it was beautiful. And it reminds me a little bit of, you know, the role that we play as older uh, siblings is the older brother ran out and said, Oi, you kids, stop it. <laughs> and as, as he come past, he put his hand on his brother's shoulder. He's going, you're doing good, bud. And that just melted my heart in that moment. And Kobe then got his answers out and I just thought, you know, we're awarding this kid uh, a scholarship. Let's make a point of this because this kid is something special. And what was really nice was his school had an um, assembly for that announcement and we gave him a certificate and a Go t-shirt. And he was made to feel very special, which he is and all our scholars are. But to be our 500 scholar was pretty special and to do that for young Kobe, um, we're really proud of as well. Um, I don't know about Michael, but that was a special day for, for us um, in awarding that, especially her journey um, that we've been on, you know, to have gone from 16 scholarships, um, 15 scholarships in our first year to 69 in our second in 2017 to 212 by 2019. And then like Shirley and I have said, 517 by 2020. It is incredible growth and with such a small team uh, we wouldn't be able to do it with people who are watching um, and listening uh, today and we thank you for that. 
Another thing that I want to touch on today is, you know, that vision that Michael and I have. Our vision is to create, to create incredible Indigenous role models by focusing on the eldest and the families. Michael and I are both that. By focusing on having a focus of 60% of young females. We know our young sisters out there um, don't get as many opportunities as our boys. We want to change that. We want to flip that. We're both raised by our mothers and grandmothers. Um, the women to us um, are the leaders of our communities. And we're seeing that not only um, in our foundation with our ambassadors, but also through the young women that you see up on stage today. Research is a big part of Go, and we've just completed an incredible piece of um, research that really focused on the importance of culture and how that relates to educational outcomes for our students. We had a presentation this week from KPMG who did the research with us in conjunction with Two Point Co. And that was an incredible bit of um, research that we looked into. And I'm, I'm really excited, you know, hopefully in the near future, to be able to release some of those um, you know, facts and findings from that to everyone. But I also just wanted to touch on the research that we did back in 2017 and how that always drives us and also reconnects, you know, what Michael and I have always believed in, you know, that focusing on the eldest by focusing on our women is going to make a massive difference. Um, so that 2017 research, and I just wanted to touch on some of it. We know from that research in 2017, if we keep students to year 12 and for them to continue further education after year 12, the following outcomes are achieved. Obesity rates go down, incarcerates, incarceration rates go down, child mortality rates go down, suicide rates decrease, employment prospects improve, so do earning potentials, and even life expectancy can go up just from finishing Year 12 and further education. And that's been our main focus at Goal and will continue to be our main focus going forward. I just wanted to touch on um, Sonia Stewart, our chair, our first Indigenous chair. This is part of our vision also at Go to have management and control in part of this business, uh, business part of this foundation. We treat it like a business um, because that's why we've been so successful. And Sonia is going to be up here talking very shortly, and I'll leave her and for you to get your impressions of what an incredible person and leader she will be for Go and has been already in that role. We're really proud of Sonia um, and the work that you're doing with us so far, but more so her journey. And I hope she touches on that a bit today because it's an incredible journey for all of our Go scholars to learn from, and especially those young women part of um, the foundation as well. Just to finish before I pass on to Michael, I'm looking at the time down there. I'm not leaving him much time to work with, which is probably a good thing. It means he won't talk about himself today, which would be nice. But I just wanted to touch on that Go Connect, uh, hashtag Go Connect scholarship that um, Shirley just launched today. Remember I spoke about those numbers at the beginning. Now we have huge ambitions about how many Indigenous kids we can help and support. Now I would love to help them all. The only way I can do that is with the support of people who are watching and listening today, for people bidding on the footballs beside me. But this scholarship gives us an opportunity to not only keep creating the content that we have for the GoQ that we've all enjoyed um, uh, during COVID, but it gives us an opportunity to give them the mentoring, the leadership, the guidance that we've been able to give over 500 students so far. So thank you so much, everyone, for your donation so far. Thanks for tuning in today. I'll pass you over to the one and only Michael O'Loughlin. Thanks, Michael. Thanks, Adam. Um, um, incredible statistics there, guys. Um, we're really proud. Um, never in our wildest dreams did we think we'd be at uh, 517 scholarships. 26 alumni, as you mentioned, what an incredible number. Uh, you don't understand, running out on the MCG, the SCG, kicking goals, winning Brownlows and premierships, um, this sits right next to it. Um, it, it really does uh, melt our hearts, as Adam said. Uh, I've got the lucky and a pretty easy job, actually, just to, to say a lot of thank yous. Um, you don't get to where we've gotten to without a lot of support. Um, Adam and, and Shirley have mentioned a few already, but I'll just ra uh, raffle off here a little bit. And again, to really emphasise those footballs, they look unbelievable. As you're listening, keep bidding, please. Um, your money counts, goes a long way. Uh, so the thank yous are, are very, very easy from myself. Um, Encore, as Shirley has already mentioned, um, providing all the AV 
it just made this a, an absolute powerhouse um, day to day. It makes it very easy for us to come in here, do the things that we need to do, and obviously get it out to you guys who are watching from, your, uh, at, from the office or at home. Um, our Go ecosystem partner, Accor Hotels, have been sensational from day dot. Um, it really is, uh, I think it's the third year here now, but to be able to do this in the circumstances that everyone's going through, the tough days that everyone's experiencing and coming here and having the setup, it's just been so seamless. So thank you. Our Go ambassadors who are here and, and at home, uh, we thank you for your support. Uh, Black Douglas, what an incredible introduction today. You're a superstar. Um, uh, obviously shortlisted for the Archer Ball, but you are an absolute gun and uh, we appreciate your support. Brooke Boney, um, just you've been a, an amazing support um, for both Adam and myself and obviously the foundation and, and what you're doing uh, on the mainstream. Uh, I keep on, when I'm logging on to watch her on television, she's always out and about doing her thing and I send her a text and she might be eating a piece of cake or she's drinking and I'm sending her a text this going, just got you, take a, a picture and sending it to her. She always replies, but uh, I don't think she, she appreciates that. But thank you for your support. Um, Adam Spencer, the one and only. Um, what can we say about you, mate? You've been, you support the greatest team of all, former number one ticket holder and have never said no to Adam and I. And, mate, we love you and, and we appreciate your support. As always, Maddie, you welcome back. We've missed you and you're absolutely killing it here today. So thank you very, very much for coming back here. Our scholars, Natalie, Luke, Tanisha, Mitch, Maddie again. Thank you. You're going to hear from everyone here, guys. Um, so I'm really looking forward to having a bit of a listen. And obviously the guys at home listening uh, uh, on their computers get a chance to also um, experience um, and listening to the guys. Um, all of our Indigenous artists, and I'm not too sure if we've got some photos or we can get the footage over to all the footballs. I know you can go on and bid, and there's, uh, I think there's some photos on there, but they look even better up close and live. So make sure you get on, um, but thank you to all the artists who painted uh, and, and obviously um, sent them in. Um, your time is very, very much appreciated. The GO team um, have been incredible. Um, from our board, I've always said our strength has been our board and um, they've been able to help Adam and I achieve the dreams that we've had um, and put them into action. Uh, our new chairwoman, what a superstar. Um, Sonia Stewart, I've known you for a long time and you've been another one that's just always backed myself in. Um, I'm glad that you've got to, met, uh, got to meet Adam and the rest of the board and you uh, have been an absolute superstar from uh, certainly my time at uh, uh, previous charity NASCA to what we're doing here today. So thank you very much. Um, she replaces uh, Sam Austin, who has taken the, the, the foundation to another level as well. So thank you, Sam, and welcome, Sonia. Um, our CEO, Shirley, you, you, uh, when you came on board, it was the foundation was just sort of doing... Well, we weren't doing too much. We, were, we thought we were doing OK. <laughs> we were trying our absolute best, and we needed someone with um, that strength of character to be able to dictate, not dictate, to show us the right way to do things. <laughs> it is a dictation a sometimes. <laughs> 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 but we really, really uh, appreciate your help. Um, again, your leadership over the years has been incredible. So thank you very, very, very much. The GO team, uh, under Shirley, uh, Alex, Celine, Mark, Ashley, Evelyn, like you guys today has been incredible. What you do for our students, more importantly, has been outstanding. And um, we can't em em emphasize that enough. Uh, we can do so much, but you guys take it to the next level. So thank you very, very much. Uh, we heard from our patron, Ani Linda. Um, she's been an amazing support as well. Our GO students, it's been a tough year, but we are bloody proud of you guys. So proud. Um, we talk about going through tough times and picking yourself up and, and keep on putting one foot in front of the other and keep on achieving the dreams and never take no for an answer. So we are extremely proud of you guys and really proud that you've hung in there in a really, really tough year. Um, bit on the footies, I mentioned that, and I, they just look outstanding. The whole room here today, guys, looks amazing. We're usually doing this in front of a couple of hundred people. Um, and it is, you know, being able to put this together so quickly I just wanted to say well done to everyone involved. Um, Adam and I are very, very proud of each and every one of you guys. Makes our job a lot easier. Um, and more importantly, you know, the students get the support that they need. So well done to the team. Uh, Shirley, uh, incredible job. Sonia, looking forward to the next 
um, phase of, of go. Uh, all our ambassadors, as I mentioned, have done an incredible job. And um, that is it from us. Uh, you've heard from the founders. Our, we had a dream. Uh, we'll continue to work hard. We've got great support around us. Um, we love our team. Um, and this, the mighty Sydney Swans Football Club, as you mentioned as well, has been a key and integral part of that. We've grown up there. Hopefully our students get to experience a little bit about what the culture and the football club mean to us uh, with their experience through Go Foundation as well. Um, that's it from both Adam and I. I'd like to introduce...